plugging our activity about spark and we just volleyball so just keep on watching Hello, my name is Ahmad Dendi Prasunggo Putra. You can call me Dendi. And my number NPM is 19081010180. Hello, my name is Abian Noval Hilmi. Guys, my name is Hera Melia Putri Belangi. My NPM is 145. Hi, my name is Muhammad Nasyukun Amin from Group 5. I want to tell about volleyball. What is a volleyball? Volleyball is a sport game played by two opposing groups. Each group has six players. There are also variations of beach volleyball games. Where each group only has two players, volleyball sport is shared by FIVB, our Federation International de Volleyball as the parent of international organization whereas in Indonesia volleyball is headed by PBVSI or Indonesia Volleyball Association this game is played by two teams it's consisting of six players and competing to reach the number 25 first in a team there are four important roles namely tosser or setter, speaker smash, libero and defender defender. Tosser or feeder is a person whose job is to feed the ball to his colleagues and set the course of the game. Speaker dati is to hit the ball so it falls in the opponent defense area. And libero is a defender who is free to go in and out but cannot smash the ball across the net and defender is a player who defend to receive attack from opponents there are different types of serve in volleyball depending on your skill level and the competitive situation for beginners the underhand serve is the most common because it is the easiest to learn First, underhand serve. The serve is used mainly in recreational volleyball. It does not require the level of skill or coordination that the other types of servers do. With one foot step it back, you hold the ball in your opposite hand. Then with your other hand, fist shift your weight forward and hit the ball just below the center or equator of the ball. Second, overhand serve. In high school and college competitive volleyball, for all overhand serve, you start with your dominant set foot back and the ball held extended in your non-dominant hand. Then you toss the ball up in for front of your hitting hand. How you hit it depends on the type of overhand serve you want to create. The biggest difference between the types of overhand serve is the serve body position where contact is made on the ball and the follow torque. Third, jump serve. The jump serve is more advanced and utilizes an even higher toss and should be several feet in front of the server. You, you, you use more of an attack approach, jumping and striking, striking the ball with the heel of your hand while you are in the air. With the serve, you will remain stiff. Then you hold or stop your palm in position facing the target. The extra motion of jumping allows to you allow you to put even more power on the ball, making the serve very difficult to handle. The drawback is that all that extra motion can lead to a higher incidence of serving errors. Most jump serve have top spin on them but it is possible to jump serve a flutter.
Oh, I'm gonna tell you about underpassing volleyball technique. Step one, stand up straight and relax. Step two, open the legs. Step three, press both legs wide and parallel. Step four, bend both knees comfortable. Step five, keep your thumbs in line and your arms straight. Step six, swing your arms straight up against your neck. Step seven, on the swings position, the ball presses leads towards the upper wrist and the neck is overpassing. Step one, stand up straight and relax. Step two, open both hands, same like a shoulder width. Step three, focus on the ball coming up. Step four, bend both your knees. Step five, Keep both hands up front and open your fingers casually. Step 6. Bend both your elbows. Step 7. When the ball is coming up, you have to push the ball with your palms of your hands. I will explain about the smash technique. You. If you are right hand, your approach should be a foot, right foot, and left foot and thumb and otherwise if you are left hand the purpose of the first step is to pick up speed and cover distance the second step the last two steps are much quicker and short place you are fed and somewhat of a 45 degree angle from the neck the second step is also to build up speed and cover distance. Depending on where the ball is, you should adjust the distance of the step. Along with the third step, swing your arm behind you so that you can raise them. With the last step to again, momentum and extra ins. The final step requires you to keep your fat shoulder means apart from balance and preparation your time. So that's the video for today. Thank you for watching our vlog and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this channel and share this video to your friends. See you on the next video. Bye bye!